Well, the oxidation reaction is exothermic, so that might lead one to predict that surrounding it with a hot water bath actually suppresses the forward reaction, oxidation reactions. Um, so we'll, at this stage, when we've got some bubbling going on, lower the hot water bath and we might be able to see what's going on. So we've got quite a vigorous reaction now. The thermometer reading is shooting up. It's 40 very rapidly. 50. 60. Still rising. 70. eighty, And you can see some product now starting to come over. We're at 85 degrees, 86 degrees centigrade. Still rising. We've hit 90 degrees centigrade, 91, 92, 93 and a half. Just hit 94 degrees C and we've got some product, liquid product distilling over here. What we really want is a nice even boiling of the mixture during the oxidation reaction and it can get rather too quick uh, causing the whole reaction mixture to boil over if we're not careful. The temperature hovering around 95 degrees centigrade. Well, the temperature has now started to fall. It's now fallen to 94, and the reaction is beginning to subside over here. Um, so we need to just give it a little bit more time to cool down a little, and then we can have a look at the product in the conical flask here on the right-hand side. Temperature is now 88 degrees centigrade and falling. Well, we'll leave that to cool down and test the product in a few minutes.